Following the demise of the dinosaurs, the Earth was populated by some of the largest and most bizarre megafauna creatures ever seen. Among these were the ancestors of modern elephants. Some of them are well known, such as the woolly mammoth, which is a popular character in cartoons, and the American mastodon. On the other hand, not as many people are familiar with the ancient elephants that we will be mentioning in this video. So here are pictures and profiles of the 20 important prehistoric elephants we should know. Number 20, Phosphotherium. Phosphotherium was one of the smallest elephant ancestors, with an estimated shoulder height of only about one foot and body mass of 17 kilograms. The mammal was formed 60 million years ago. It's unlikely that anyone would have known if it would evolve into a horse, a hippo, or an elephant. Paleontologists can tell that this herbivore, about the size of a dog, was actually a prehistoric elephant by looking at its teeth and the way its skull is built. 19. Muriatherium It was smaller than most or all later proboscideans, standing only 2.3 feet high at the shoulder and weighing only 235 kilograms or 518 pounds. The Muriatherium wasn't directly ancestral to modern elephants, occupying a side branch that went extinct millions of years ago. But this big-sized mammal had enough elephant-like traits to place it firmly in the pachyderm camp. Number 18. Dwarf Elephant Dwarf elephants should not be confused with pygmy elephants, a smaller relative of African elephants that still exists. They could grow only up to 3.3 feet tall and weighed not more than 300 kilograms. Dwarf elephants are an example of insular dwarfism, a phenomenon whereby large mammals that colonize islands evolve into dwarf forms, a wonder attributed to adaptation to resource-poor environments and lack of predation and competition. Number 17. Beritherium This prehistoric elephant had a height between 5.9 to 6.6 .6 feet tall at the shoulder and a weight between 1 to 2 tons. Paleontologists know a lot more about its tusks which tended to preserve better in the fossil record than soft tissue, than they do about its trunk. The Beritherium, however, wasn't directly ancestral to modern elephants. It represented an evolutionary side branch of mammals, combining elephant and hippo-like characteristics. 16. Platybelodon Platybelodons were smaller than modern-day elephants. They stood 7.2 feet tall and weighed 2.5 tons. It had a mouth that looked like a big spork. An ancestor of the modern elephant, it looked like it got hit in the face with a shovel and then ate the shovel. The lower tusks of the platybelodon were flattened. It used them to dig up plants from flooded plains and maybe even to move trees that were only loosely attached. Number 15. Paleomastodon Paleomastodon had both upper and lower tusks. At the shoulder, it was about 7.2 feet tall and weighed about 2.5 tons. Paleomastodon is thought to have been more related to the Muriatherium than to the African or Asian elephant breeds of today. This elephant was easily recognized by its lower tusks, which were shaped like scoops. It used these to dig up plants from wet riverbanks and lake beds. 14. Nathabelodon The mammal is endemic to North America. It stood 7.5 feet tall and a body mass between 3.2 to 4.5 tons. Nathabelodon has been called the spoon-built mastodon since its lower jaw was elongated and shaped like a shoehorn or a spoon. The presence of a long lower jaw, but no lower tusks, is highly unusual among proboscideans. 13. Cuvieronius The animal is famous as one of the few prehistoric elephants to have colonized South America. The animal's size was about 7.7 .7 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed approximately 3.5 tons. Cuvieronius was distinguished by its long, 
spiraling tusks, reminiscent of those found on narwhals. It seems to have adapted to life in high, mountainous regions and may have been hunted to extinction by early human settlers on the Argentine pampas. 12. Viomia Viomia was smaller in size than modern elephants, standing about 8 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing between 2 to 3.5 tons. The Viomia is an ancient genus of proboscidean that was very similar in appearance to a modern elephant but with a very short trunk. They roam the forests of all over Eurasia and Africa, especially the northern regions 37 to 30 million years ago. They were herbivorous and were around 2 feet taller than the average human male. Number 11, Ambelodon. It was the first known shovel-toothed elephant. It stood about 8.2 feet tall and weighed between 1 and 2 tons. Its two lower tusks were flat, close together, and close to the ground. This helped it dig up semi-aquatic plants in the North American floodplains where it lived, and maybe even scrape the bark off of tree stems. Ambelodon probably died out when long, dry spells made its North American grazing grounds less accessible, and eventually disappeared. Number 10, Gomphotherium. Measuring 8.3 feet tall and weighing between 4.6 to 5.1 tons, the giant Gomphotherium was remarkably widespread, taking advantage of various land bridges to colonize Africa and Eurasia from its original stomping grounds in North America. With its shovel-shaped lower tusks, which were used for scooping up vegetation from flooded swamps and lake beds, the Gomphotherium set the pattern for the later shovel-toothed elephant, Ambelodon, which had an even more pronounced digging apparatus. Number 9. Permalophus In terms of evolution, Permalophus was the latest common ancestor of modern African and Eurasian elephants in the recently extinct woolly mammoth. They have a shoulder height that is between 8 to 9 feet and having a body weight between 2 to 4 tons. With its large size, distinctive tooth structure, and long trunk, this prehistoric elephant was very similar to modern pachyderms, the only notable difference being the smallish, shovel tusks jutting from its lower jaw. 8. Stegomastodon Its name makes it sound like a cross between a stegosaurus and a mastodon. A roughly 30-year-old male fossil was found and it stood about 8.5 feet tall, with a weight around 4.7 tons. It was a fairly typical prehistoric elephant of the late Pliocene epoch. Like modern elephants, but unlike most of its closer relatives, it had just two tusks, which curved upward. 7. Anancus Apart from its long, straight tusks and its relatively short legs, the Anancus looked more like a modern elephant than its fellow prehistoric relatives. The 10 feet tall tusks of the mammal were a whopping 10 feet long and probably were used both to root up plants from the soft forest soil and to intimidate predators. Similarly, the Anancus brought flat feet and short legs were adapted to life in its jungle habitat, where a sure-footed touch was needed to navigate the thick undergrowth. Number 6. American Mastodon The tusks of mastodons were not as curled as those of their cousins, the woolly mammoths. Males could be up to 10 feet tall and weighed up to 6 tons, while females could only be up to 7 feet tall. American Mastodon lived around 30 million years ago, and their fossils have been found almost 200 miles off the northeast U.S. coast. This shows how much the water level has changed since the end of the Pliocene and Pleistocene periods. 5. Tetralophodon A large individual of the European species, Tetralophodon, is suggested to have been 11.5 feet tall at the shoulder and up to 11 tons in weight. 
The Tetralophodon enjoyed an unusually wide distribution during the late Miocene and early Pliocene epochs. Fossils of various species have been found as far afield as North and South America, Africa, and Eurasia. Number 4. Woolly Mammoth They roamed the cold tundra of Europe, Asia, and North America from about 300,000 years ago up until about 10,000 years ago. Woolly mammoths were probably the size of Asian elephants, around 12 feet tall, and weighed between 6 to 8 tons. Thanks to cave paintings, we know that the woolly mammoth was hunted to extinction by early humans, who coveted its shaggy coat as much as its meat. Number 3. Stegote Trabellidum the animal was estimated to be 13 feet tall and weighing between 10 to 12 tons. Stegotetra belladin might turn out to be one of the most important elephant ancestors ever identified. In early 2012, researchers in the Middle East discovered the preserved footprints of a herd of over a dozen of this elephant of various ages and both sexes, dating from about 7 million years ago in the late Miocene epoch. Number 2. Deinotherium The adult Deinotherium can be up to 20 feet long, from the tip of the tusk to the tip of the tail. It can also be up to 13 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh up to 12 tons. Deinotherium was a big land animal that lived in the late Miocene to early Pleistocene. Aside from its huge size, the Deinotherium was most famous for its short, downward curving tusks which were so different from modern elephant tusks that they caused 19th century paleontologists to mistakenly reconstruct them upside down. And number one, stray tusk elephant. Stray tusk elephant is the largest prehistoric elephant ever found. Recovered individuals have reached up to 12.5 to 13.8 feet in shoulder height and an estimated 12.5 to 16.5 tons in weight. Like modern elephants, this elephant lived in herds, flourishing during interglacial periods. Skeletons found in association with stone tools and wooden spears suggest they were scavenged and hunted by early humans. It is the ancestral species of most dwarf elephants that inhabited islands in the Mediterranean. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you positively in the next one. Take care.